What about me, gente? Luis de Bolomeni is here today to show you this beautiful installation. Mwah! It's gonna be like an art piece, baby. That's right, we're installing an NCB 250 150 gauge. That's right, guys. Takabi hot water boiler from Navian. You guys can see. And guys, I'm excited to show you guys what's installed for today and what we're gonna do to install this bad boy. Because we actually move, we actually removed the old boiler and we're moving into a different location. So the old boiler was like in the middle of the house. Now we're moving towards the front of the house on the opposite side of the house. And guys, it's a bit of work here today. So I'm gonna take you to the journey. The process, guys. You already know what I'm talking about. The process of what to do to install this beautiful NCB 250. And guess what? Who's installing it today? I am. Let's go, baby. Wepa.
llama New York Caldero. Fuego, fuego, llama New York Caldero. New York Bola en general, va a poner tu casa de fría. Cuando hace calor afuera, el aire no va a parar. Fuego, fuego, llama New York Caldero. Fuego, fuego, llama New York Caldero. I mean, I think, guys, we're here on day two. That's right, guys. So you guys can see, we already finished installing the boiler. It's already piped in. Now we got to do what's called the tie-ins, guys. So we have to do a little bit of a configuration here. Because, guys, on some house, oh, well, it's not all houses, but some houses, they converted years ago from steam to hot water. So what happened, guys? Guys, fuck up. Because there's been other plumbers here, so-called plumbers, that guys can't figure out. That's what the customer told me, and I understand why. Because they don't understand that this system in this particular house used to be steam. And steam does not work the same way as hot water. And they try to convert it into hot water, not understanding that, listen, you got to do it a certain way. So very quickly, just give a little heads up. Whenever you're doing a hot water system, in case you didn't know, it's basically one loop, right? In, supply, go to the whole zone, and return. In this case, they tried doing that, but they put T's on the run. So what happens is, on the run... On the main run, yes, you'll get heat. But the other issue is they think that, that, that the board is not working. They say they're not getting heat in other areas of the house, which makes sense because the water is there, but it's just not moving. Remember, guys, water takes the path of least resistance. Listen to what I'm telling you, path of least resistance. So the only way technically that would work that we got to go that route if you have to put a pump on the main on the main supply and return, and then on the take walls from the supply and return, we have to put another pump. So it's more work, it's headaches, and every job is a little different, and this job is not so straightforward. But the good thing is, we're here in the basement, and we have access to all the tie-ins. So what we're gonna do is, this used to be a one zone system, now we're gonna convert it into three zones. That's right, uno, dos, tres. One, two, three, guys. So we're gonna do a zone in the basement, pretty straightforward, very easy. Now we're gonna fix the issue he had before, so now we're going to disconnect all the piping. You guys see all these pipes? They're in the way, they're a pain in the ass. We're going to get rid of that shit. Now we're going to tuck it in on top of the ceiling. You're not going to hit your head on this. And also, he's not going to have the issues. Now we're going to have a separate zone for the second floor. That is going to strictly take care of all the heating zones on the second floor. And then, of course, another zone for the first floor is going to take care of all the radiators. Or just baseboard, whatever you want to call it. But in this case, it's radiator because the old style, old style radiators. And it's going to work, guys. So this is what experience comes in. This is what theory comes in. And this is what I tell you guys, educate yourself, go to school. It needs to make sense, right? And of course, we need to translate that experience and what we learn in school and translate to the customer so he understands exactly what's going on. And I also drew it out for him. And now it makes sense. He said, that makes total sense because nobody ever explained it to me. That's why he asked Louis the Bonnet. So guys, stay tuned. It's a little crazy, but this job is you're in for a treat, like I said before, because this is when experience comes in. This is when the big dogs like Louis the Bonnet comes in and figures out the problem because I'm the problem solver. So if you want to learn, join this journey with me. Watch the video. Also, don't forget to subscribe, baby. Stay tuned. Wepa. New York Caldero, fuego, fuego, llama New York Caldero, New York Bola en general, va a ponerle tu casa de fría, cuando hace calor afuera, el aire no va a parar, fuego, fuego, llama New York Caldero, fuego, fuego, llama New York Caldero.
Nuyo Caldero. Fuego, fuego. Llama Nuyo Caldero. Nuyo Bola en general. Va a ponerlo tu casa de fría. Cuando hace calor afuera, el aire no vas a parar. Fuego, fuego. Llama Nuyo Caldero. Fuego, fuego. Llama Nuyo Caldero. of this beautiful installation that's right guys you finished wrapping this installation up this one is for the books guys when i tell you this is what's super involved i mean take a look at the video or if you saw the video you know exactly what i mean guys i mean we had to do the rip up for the boiler we had to do the rip up for the hot water heater we also had to be located from one end to another a lot of repiping originally this particular job was used to be a steam system and they used to have not one, not two, not three, several plumbers come over and nobody could figure it out. But Louis the Borderman can. That's right, guys. So now we convert it from one zone to three zones. You got a zone in the basement, first floor, and the second floor. And we had to do a lot of repiping. So, guys, I'm telling you, sometimes these jobs you think they're easy, but they could be a pain in the ass. But you know what? When you know what you do, it's not a big deal. So, guys, take a look at this beautiful Navian border. What is it? It's the NCB 150H, guys. Listen, to, look at the detail. Pay attention to detail, guys. I mean, when I tell you, I mean, get your purge valve, not be clean, neutralize the anger, condensate pump, you got your free pump. Oh, another thing, guys. So, the, the, all the piping in this house, especially for the first floor, is about, it used to be two inch, believe it or not. What makes sense? It used to be steam. And then we reduce it down to inch and a quarter, some locations, then to an inch. So, we need to get a better pump to circulate that water. So we got ourselves a 0010 on the first floor and also for the second floor. Guys, you gotta pay attention to these details because these little 007, little small Mickey Mouse off circulate pump for small or short distances, they work great. But when you have a lot of volume of water and have the old school uh, radiators, guys, there's a lot of water. You have to move that water, baby. That's right. So we upgraded to two 0010s for the first and second floor. Uh, what else? I mean, everything straight and level, of course, the way it should be. So, I mean, you guys tell me what you guys think. I love what I do. I take pride in what I do, guys. So, I want you to leave a comment below because I would love to hear what you guys have to say about all the detail work and the work involved to make this project happen, guys. Customer has a very big smile because now we've solved the problem. Now they got three zones instead of one. You're going to have efficiency now and you have some good hot water, guys. So, listen. If you have anything to say, please drop, leave, drop that comment below. For more support, guys, smash that bell button. Hey, subscribe, 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 because it definitely helps us our channel. It definitely helps us, and not only to the other fellow tradesmen, it helps up everybody in the industry. So, guys, until next time, we're off further ado. Wipe out! Fuego, fuego, llama Nuyo Caldero. Fuego, fuego, llama Nuyo Caldero. Nuyo